IBB speaks on meeting with Jonathan. FEC approves 1.7 billion naira for primary school books. And IGF police dismantles police roadblocks in the southeast. All these and more coming up today on Newsbits. This is Internet Television International. Thanks for logging on. I am Oluchi Madu. Former military president General Ibrahim Badamosi Babangida yesterday said his discussion with President Goodluck Jonathan had nothing to do with any move to persuade Jonathan to step down for him as being speculated. He said the meeting centered on Nigeria and how to improve the country. Babangida spoke when he led a team of his campaign organization to the People's Democratic Party PDP National Secretariat to express compassion over last Saturday's fire which raised parts of the PDP headquarters in Wadata Plaza. Bangida was accompanied by members of his campaign team, headed by the Director General, Chief Raymond Aleo Dokwesi. Former Secretary of the PDP Board of Trustees, Abdullahi Adamu, also visited the party yesterday to express sympathy over last Saturday's fire incident. Responding, PDP National Chairman Dr. Kwesile Zemwodo commended the former President for his expression of concern. The Federal Executive Council on Wednesday approved the sum of 1.7 billion naira for the printing and distribution of English language, mathematics and activity-based science books to primary six pupils in public schools nationwide. The Minister of Information and Communications, Professor Dora Akwini, announced the development after the council met yesterday in the State House, Abuja. The project will be funded by the Universal Basic Education Commission from the 2010 supplementary budget under the Millennium Development Goals Textbook Initiative for the procurement of textbooks. Akunini disclosed that the textbooks were to be customized with the inscription MDG's UNEC Textbook Initiative, not for sale. The contract was awarded to Longman Nigeria PLC, Evans Brothers, Heinemann, Africana First Publisher, Tanus Communication Limited, University Press PLC and West African Books Publishers. The contract is to be concluded in six weeks. The FEC also approved the construction of one block of nine-story office complex as headquarters of the Code of Conduct Bureau in the sum of 3.5 billion naira. Women have asked the chairman of the Independent National Electoral Commission, Professor Atahiru Jaga, to make the forthcoming election a level playing field. The Honorable Minister of Women Affairs and Social Development, Josephine Aneni, made this request during a curtsy visit. Shaya Debumi now reports. In a bid to make women's participation more convenient and balanced free, the Honorable Minister of Women Affairs and Social Development, Mrs. Josephine Aneni, led an entourage of women and a man to the INEX headquarters to have their voices heard. Mrs. Anene said women's numerical strength has not always been reflected proportionally in the political life and decision-making structures of the country. The steaming anomalies in the electoral process are not eliminated at this final stage. Women will continue to be sidelined and ultimately disenfranchised. This imbalance in political representation is great and needs to be addressed. One would say, but you have women in the National Assembly, what have they done? They are too few for their voices, for them to make any concrete difference. That's why we are asking for increment. While responding to the latter's request, the chairman of INEC, Professor Atai Rejiga, reiterated the Commission's determination to make the election free, fair and credible. It is a difficult task. It is not an impossible task. Therefore, it is a doable task and we will do our best in that regard. Some of these formidable challenges, of course, relate to issues of inequity in power relations in access to governance and politics which are associated with historic, systemic as well as structural constraints in particular against women and the other disadvantaged groups in our society. We as a commission are very much aware of this and for us to bring about free, fair and credible elections, we also have to pay a lot of attention to ensuring that there are mechanisms in place 
that address these systemic and structurally induced imbalances. There are only six female senators in today's Senate out of a total of 109 senators in the upper chamber. There are only about 26 women representatives out of a total of 360 members of the House of Representatives. This is the quest of the Nigerian women. Shaya Adebumi reporting for ITI. The Inspector General of Police, Obonau Nobo, has ordered the immediate dismantling of roadblocks in the southeast. The absence of police officers from the checkpoints became noticeable over time when they were not seen at points where they usually extort money from motorists. This absence was later explained by Hafiz Abubakar Ringim, the Assistant Inspector General of Police in charge of Zone 9, Umaher, who told newsmen that Mr. Onobo had ordered all checkpoints be dismantled in the zone. Mr. Ringham said that the removal of the checkpoints was a major decision of the police headquarters and that it has to be absolute, stressing that it was because of pressure from members of the public who had been asking the police command to remove them from the roads. He assured that the police would not stop the patrol of these roads to check the activities of hoodlums. And with that, we've come to the end of Newsbits for today. Thank you for logging on. I am Oluchi Majum. <laughs>